At Norman Smith. Well, let's talk to former Labour MP and London Mayor Ken Livingstone, uh, who joins us outside his home in North West London. So Labour members of the Home Affairs Select Committee, and Norman Smith says, are not inclined to support Keith Vaz. Do you? Well, I think someone's private life should be private. I remember 35 years ago in the run-up to the GLC election, reporters came to me with evidence that the Tory leader, um, my opponent, was having an affair. They got pictures of women going in and out uh, of the flat he was renting and so on. And I said, I'm not running with that. We're running on the issue of cutting fares and I'm not going to use those sort of personal smears. And I regret that here in the, the, the Sunday Mirror, I, they decided that this is more important than the serious issues such as the economy. He's the chair of the Home Affairs Select Committee, which conducts inquiries into drugs and prostitution. He's alleged mm. to have offered to fund the buying of cocaine. He's alleged to have used male prostitutes. Don't you think that's a conflict of interest? Well, I mean, let's see what if it turns out to be true. I mean, I could spend the next half hour recounting to you all the stories you've seen about me in the press which turned out not to be true. And I think what I find particularly um, ridiculous about this is I can recall being at Labour Party conferences and watching a uh, journalist there going up to their hotel um, room with prostitutes they picked up from the streets. I mean, all across our society, the people that pay for sex, I don't approve of that. I don't okay. do it if myself. It's, if it's um, true... If but it's, I don't think it's illegal. If it's true... Would you accept that that is a conflict of interest with his position as chair of the Home Affairs Select Committee? No, I don't, I don't think the fact that if it turns out to be true and he has paid for sex, that that prevents him from actually conducting the inquiry into prostitution and the problems of prostitution. The, prost the problems of prostitution are what happens to the poor prostitutes, uh, not so much their clients. Aren't you concerned that a Labour colleague of yours is allegedly exploiting young immigrant men for sex? I mean, let, let's see what turns out to be true about all of this. I've known Keith Vaz, I mean, must be 40 years. I mean, he's been a good campaigner on a whole range of issues about social justice. And in all that time, I mean, I never recalled him talking about sex or anything like that or drugs. He was always focused on what he could do to actually make life better for his constituents or the wider community. If it's true, Surely that would alarm you, that he was exploiting such young men, potentially vulnerable young men, for sex. Well, well, let's see how vulnerable they are. I mean, the reality is, though, do you judge someone's political career on the basis of one incident like this, or the total work of, of over four decades? And everybody makes mistakes. I mean, well, I mean, some of the some newspapers in today have had an affair. Yeah, some newspapers today are reporting that he's visited male prostitutes before. I mean, let's see what turns out to be true. The simple fact is, don't judge somebody on one mistake they make in their life, or even a couple of mistakes. I mean, it's the total um, that he's done for other people, right the way in his own constituency and up and down Britain. He's always been on the side of justice, and that can't just all be swept away by one mistake that he's made. Worth repeating, there are allegations, as, as you rightly say, at this stage. Um, could I ask you briefly about your own position? You're still suspended from the Labour Party for, quote, bringing mm. the party into disrepute over, uh, disrepute over comments you made about Hitler mm. and Zionism. Uh, have you had any mm. conversation with the party about a way back? I, well, basically, I'm still, it's now four months since I was suspended. I'm still waiting for uh, the committee to um, sit down and decide whether what I said was true or not. Um, and I think they keep putting it off because the simple fact is, I mean, I've got so much evidence that says what I was saying is true. I mean, particularly striking, if you go to the Holocaust Memorial in Jerusalem, one of the pamphlets they sell to tourists is about the deal that Hitler did with the Zionists in the 1930s. So I don't think anyone's going to accuse the Holocaust Memorial management of being anti-Semitic. Right, so you think they're delaying it because they think there's so much evidence that what you said is true. You, you, you probably know, Mr Livingston, the board... There's so much evidence. The Board of Deputies of British Jews uh, want Labour to expel you immediately after you reiterated your views on Hitler and oh, Zionism but... on, on Vanessa Feltz's radio programme yesterday. Hmm. I'm not surprised because if you actually look at the evidence that the 
uh, chairman of the Board of Deputies gave to Keith Batty's committee, um, he opened by saying, for Ken Livingston to have said that Hitler was a Zionist is deeply offensive. Well, if I'd said Hitler was a Zionist, I wouldn't just have apologised. I'd gone straight to my doctor to check that I wasn't in the first stages of dementia. To suggest that Hitler was a Zionist is mad. He loathed and feared Jews all his life. But he did do a deal with the Zionist movement in the 1930s. Um, and that led to 66,000 German Jews going to what is now Israel and escaping uh, the, 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 the Holocaust. I'll just read you a, a quote from Marie van der Zyl, who's vice president of the Board of Deputies. In 2016, Ken Livingston mm. seems to want to rewrite history to make it seem like Zionism was responsible for the Holocaust, which is as false as it is grotesquely offensive. Every day that Labour does not expel him is a stain on the party. Well, it's just quite simple. Go on the websites, check. You can see the, the interview with Norman Finkelstein defending everything I said. I mean, there are dozens and dozens of books that, by academics looking at the fact that Hitler signed a deal um, and worked with the Zionist movement throughout the 1930s. Now, I've not even criticised that. I mean, the Zionist movement had to deal with the fact that Hitler was running Germany. If they were going to try and save Jews, they had to do some sort of deal with him. Are you not bothered about hurting Jewish people by, by repeating your well, views? I said at the time, if anybody uh, has been offended by what I said, I'm truly sorry about that. But I've been struck by the number of people who come up to me on the street saying, look, I'm Jewish, I know what you said is true. Don't give in to this bullying. And the simple fact is, that, and the reason I suspect we've waited four months for my hearing and still no sign of it, is that the people doing the, the work on this know that it, what I said is true. Right. It is, it, what, what is offending people, apart from anything else, is this conflating of, of Hitler with Zionism? I'm not conflating Hitler with Zionism, I'm simply saying Hitler did a deal which was signed off uh, uh, about three or four months after he became Germany's Chancellor and he stuck to that deal right up until 1940 and during that period um, 66,000 German Jews were moved to Palestine. He also, I mean, I mean, Adolf Eichmann negotiated a deal with the Zionist movement to give them guns which they could use in their underground army. I mean, he, he passed a law that the only two flags that could be flown in Germany were the swastika and the, the Zionist Star of David. I mean, it isn't just a one-off thing, there were a whole working relationship over the 1930s. And you can't blame the Zionists. They were there, they were in Germany. Uh, they had a horrendous and brutal government, but they had no option but to work with it. Thank you for your time this morning, Ken Livingston, uh, former mayor of London and uh, former Labour MP, uh, expressing support for his uh, embattled colleague, Keith Vaz, who is still fighting for his political life and uh, repeating his views that Hitler supported Zionism.